Good morning and welcome to the JMCSS podcast for the district. I'm Greg Hammond, Chief of Public Information for the Jackson Madison County School System. Students in Jackson Madison County Schools are returning to school on August 7th. Monday, August 7th. Many of our community partners have family friendly events to provide additional support and supplies for our students. This morning, City of Jackson City Councilman Johnny Dodd will join us to discuss the I Care of Jackson annual Better Community Summit. They'll have a, a school supply giveaway and door prizes while also educating the community on topics like how to be successful this school year. Here's a reminder for the district that JMCSS podcast is a production of the Jackson Madison County School System in partnership with Forever Communications. You can listen to this episode on demand on Apple iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. Also a reminder to stick around to hear from a number of JMCSS teachers as they've spent the last week preparing for the return of our nearly 13,000 students. Councilman Dodd, welcome to the podcast. Good morning, good morning. You know, it's not every day you get to have a JCM graduate uh, on the podcast. So uh, to all the Cougars out there listening, uh, there's that shout out uh, to Cougar Nation. Yes, sir. Uh, Councilman Dodd, we have a lot to talk about. Obviously, you're here to uh, talk about uh, the uh, Better Community Summit, and we will get to that. But I know um, this week in the community, a lot of folks are thinking about a trailblazer uh, and a, a true community champion uh, that we lost recently. Uh, Shirley Mercer uh, passed away. And I know when you think about your own career, you know, more than two decades in public service, I know Shirley Mercer really had an impact um, on, your, on your career and your path. Um, as you think about Miss Mercer, uh, what comes to mind? Amazing. I mean, she was someone that took me up, you know, when they say you take someone up under your wing, I exactly know what it's like. I mean, because she was someone that believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. She was someone that could come to me, you know, and chastise you like your mother, mm -hmm. and, you know, you just listen. Uh, but she was someone that cared about this community, and she fought not only for Jackson, but for the state of Tennessee and other surrounding counties. She was someone that stood up for us when, and as a lady, you don't see that much. Mm -hmm. But she was the Harriet Tubman in, in our time that fought for our community. So when you think about uh, civil rights, uh, she was a student at Lane College during the civil rights movement. Of course, uh, today there's a park named in her honor. But uh, as newspaper articles are written and uh, stories are published about Shirley Mercer, uh, we do want to encourage the, mu the community uh, to learn about her story and uh, how she played a very critical part in the progress uh, that African Americans in particular uh, made in Jackson, Madison County. So uh, we do want to acknowledge her. Councilman Dodd, you, you've been a councilman for uh, 24 years. Yes, and I know activities like the Better Community Summit is, uh, I know it really gets you excited. Uh, talk about the Better Community Summit and what uh, that goal is when you all started it, uh, I guess, two or three years ago. Well, our goal was to make our community a better place and to bring resources to the community. Um, we wanted to make sure that some resources that was not, the people was not able to receive, that we bring resources to them. And so we decided to bring a group of people together to form an organization to be able to help our community. And we talked about what we was gonna name it, was it a crime summit or whatever, because we did with type of issues. But that's how we came up with a better community summit, uh, just to make our community a better place. The Better Community uh, Summit will take place on August 12th at Lane College. It's the Better Community Summit, August 12th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., uh, school supply giveaway, uh, door prizes, and really uh, that educational piece I think is particularly important uh, for families with uh, young children and teenagers. Uh, I attended it uh, um, uh, last year, and it's actually uh, where I met Alyssa Pierman, and she'll join us here in a moment. Uh, she's a teacher at Northside High School, uh, also volunteering there with the a Better Community Summit. And of course, Lisa Peoples, uh, she's with Lane College, the Director of the Development. So we'll uh, hear from them uh, later on in, in this broadcast. Councilman Dodd, uh, what is the goal as you think about this is now the uh, a second year you you all have done this. What is the goal for the Better Community Summit? And 
How will you know that it's been successful? Well, our goal is to continue to bring resources to the community, continue to be able to for people to come to us and share the information so we'll be able to help them and try to see what we could do to bring resources, not only just in the city of Jackson, but throughout our state. Uh, we want to be able to bring people together that never been together. Because if you look at it, we talked about our seven Ps. Mm -hmm. And our seven Ps, pastors, police, politicians, parents, principals, partners, and priorities. Mm -hmm. And these are usually at the seven Ps that you never looked before we had. You know, you, when you have the CEO of the hospital supporting it, mm -hmm. superintendent and the president of the school board, HBCU college that's part of this organization, pastors. Uh, so you got people from all walks of life. And when we had a couple of meetings, you know, we, we looked around the room and we kind of say, okay, this is amazing. Uh, so we brought this many people in this room and everybody's on one accord and trying to make a difference in the community. And I think that's the impact that we're trying to make. We're visiting with Jackson City Councilman Johnny Dodd as he tells us about the Better Community Summit is coming up on August 12th at Lane College from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Of course, uh, snacks and food will be available uh, for the students and families who attend. I thought uh, last year um, I got there and there was a, a basically a, a class being taught by members of the uh, police department. Uh, just telling parents about things they need to watch out for uh, and just because we know uh, prevention is such a, a yeah. big part of safety. You mentioned those P's. Was it seven P's? Yes, sir. Uh, I think back, you know, we had our opening in service uh, at the Omen Arena for uh, Jackson Massa County Schools. I think one of the ways that uh, our superintendent, Dr. Marlon King, uh, has been so successful, uh, he's made a very um, – a very uh, intentional effort to bring in, you talk about uh, pastors, policemen, uh, politicians. And if you think about our in-service, many of those community partners uh, will represent it. And I think uh, there's an exciting time right now in Jackson, Tennessee. And part of the reason, uh, as you described, is uh, this collaboration between those community partners. And as we think about uh, the Better uh, Community Summit, uh, some of the community partners that are joining you all, West Tennessee Healthcare, Salvation Army, uh, Community Foundation of West Tennessee, uh, and the United Way. Uh, Councilman Dodd, I, had a I have to brag on you for a minute. Uh, I was uh, meeting with um, one of the new city councilmen, uh, Frank McMean, uh, and he was very complimentary of you. Uh, and it's what's cool is no matter where you go in Jackson, folks know Johnny Dodd uh, simply because you've been an advocate. Uh, I think particularly in the 90s, growing up uh, in Jackson and, and Bemis and West Tennessee, the crime marches. Uh, yeah. It's it's for someone who grew up in Jackson, it's just kind of uh, you have that mental picture in your brain. You know, it was just a part of the landscape in Jackson. Uh, why do you do what you do? Uh, because we know public service is, is hard work. Uh, you think about the Better Community Summit other initiatives that you put on over the uh, last two decades. Uh, why do you do it and what keeps you energized? Uh, because I care. Uh, I mean, you know, me working in school system has been a blessing. Uh, me just working with kids is something that, you know, once I found my purpose in life, I mean, I I'm, had always been Johnny Dodd is the person I am now. Everybody look at uh, this one bad, but I mean, I made a mistake when I was 18 and I promised to myself that I want to be a better person. And I want to be an example for the people of the city. And when young people see me, uh, I have a you know 32 year old son, mm -hmm. and I want to make sure that his life is better. But not only my son, mm -hmm. and I want to be able to just love on people. And that's what I try to drive, you know. And and, and you know, I'm humble and blessed to be where I am, you know. But then again, I wouldn't be anything without the people that I work with. I mean, you take Lisa, Alyssa, and people like that. Mm -hmm. I'm just you know, I, God gave me a vision. He gave me the tools to make it happen. And I just run with it and just do it, you know, make sure it happens the best I can. You talk about your work in the school system. Uh, we do want to thank you, particularly for your work at Parkview Prep Academy. A uh, shout out uh, to Principal Gore uh, out there at uh, Parkview Prep. A lot of feel good stories um, coming out of Parkview Prep. 
sometimes kids need a second chance. Yeah, yeah. And uh, certainly uh, Parkview Prep is just one of the platforms in the Jackson-Madison County school system uh, that allows uh, students to get that second chance. We're visiting with City Councilman Johnny Dodd. We're talking about the Better Community Summit that's coming up on August 12th. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Lane College. After this time out, we'll visit with Lisa Peoples. She's Director of Development at Lane College. She'll give us some more uh, context and insight on the upcoming Better Community Summit, as well as Alyssa Pierman. She's an 11th grade English teacher in language arts at Northside High School. You're listening to For the District, the JMCSS podcast on JJ 97.7 FM. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. I'm Jordan Taylor. And I'm Alex Northcutt. Don't miss the Jackson Madison County Schools Game of the Week on Sports731.com and JJ977. Sponsored by Elite Dental Care, Fast Pace Health, Jackson State Community College, 10 Trailers, Hiller Plumbing, Heating, Cooling, and Electrical, Hot Chocolate All Over the World, Jerry Ward Autoplex, Eagles Nest, Northwest Tennessee Head Start, Fayette County Radiator, Union University, Exit 87 Barbecue, Jackson Madison County Health Department, and King Jewelers. Watch the games on sports731.com or listen on JJ977. Interested in sponsoring our Game of the Week coverage? Text SPORTS to 30605. That's sports to 30605. It's football time in Tennessee starting August 18th. Catch the Jackson Madison County Schools Game of the Week live with Jordan Taylor and myself, Alex Northcutt, on JJ977 and sports731.com. Hi, I'm Kinley, a star student at Rose Hill. You're watching For the District. Now back to the show. Welcome back to For the District, the JMCSS podcast on JJ97.7 FM. I'm Greg Hammond, Chief of Public Information for the Jackson Madison County School System. We're visiting with several community partners this morning to share information about the upcoming Better Community Summit on August 12th. That's taking place at Lane College from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Several informative sessions, door prizes, uh, so, uh, school supply giveaways uh, for parents going on at the Better Community Summit, August 12th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and it takes place at Lane College, which is one of the reasons why Lisa Peoples is joining us. She's the Director of Development at Lane College, as well as Alyssa Pierman. She's an 11th grade English teacher at Northside High School. Fun fact. Lisa is also a Northside graduate, so I guess this is the uh, North, this is the Northside <laughs> hour on the podcast. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. First of all, we hear about the Better Community Summit, and we also hear the term "I care." Uh, and you cor- I know you'll correct me if I'm wrong, Teacher Miss Pierman. <laughs> I know you'll correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, "I care" stands for community advocacy, resilience and empowerment. Yes. yes sir. All right. So did I get an A for that? A plus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell us about I care. We'll start uh, with you, uh, Lisa. Tell us about I care. Tell us about the Better Community Summit and how this all came together. Well, um, last year, unfortunately, there was an unfortunate incident on the bypass where um, some young people were shot two died. When that happened, it kind of sent a shockwave through the whole community. A lot of times when that happens, people will get together and say, oh, we need to do something, we need to do something. Uh, Councilman Johnny Dodd called together a group of community leaders on the campus of Lane College, and there was a meeting. And out of that meeting, there was another meeting. And so we continued to meet, um, basically saying we we don't want our children getting shot dead in the street anymore. We don't want that to happen again. And so we continued to meet, and out of those meetings, I care was formed. Uh, of the mindset that we don't want to just meet when something happens. Right. Uh, we want to be proactive. We want to create an organization um, that can be an advocate for our community, but also empower, encourage, and educate our community mm-hmm. about different things, uh, gun violence being one of them, mm-hmm. youth violence being one, but also other positive aspects to bring more positivity into our community. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dr. Logan Hampton at, at, at Lane College has been such a, a benefit to the community uh, since coming to Jackson, and you were telling me about his 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 philosophy yes. about um, ten blocks. Ten blocks. Yes. Talk about that philosophy. So, um, Dr. Hampton's philosophy is anything that's contiguous to Lane College and mm-hmm. within the ten block. Uh, section of Lane College that Lane wants to be a part of. Mm-hmm. So we want to touch the community within those that 10-block section and 
out outward anything mm-hmm. that will affect the people that live there affect our community we just want to be a po- positive aspect we just don't want to be sitting on Lane College's campus but we want to go throughout the community to bring positivity to our community Jackson Madison County Schools has been the benefit of that philosophy because JCM sits yes. uh, right there neighbors uh, with Lane College and throughout the year whether it's uh, field trips uh, whether it's um, uh, classes in the science department it's been really encouraging and really cool to see uh, that partnership and that interaction uh, between uh, Lane College and JCM. Yes, and Lane College has benefited as well. You know mm-hmm. that we Lane College now is in the old Lincoln mm-hmm. uh, building, That's and right. we're using that for various things. This summer there was a summer camp there. There was coding and things. Think, and your band, yes. your your music department yes. is there in the on the old Lincoln campus. Yes. That's awesome. So, uh, we, so it's a great partnership. We do appreciate our community partners. We're visiting with Lisa Peoples. She's the Director of Development at Lane College. Along with Alyssa Pierman, she's an English teacher at Northside High School. They're here to discuss the Better Community Summit that's taking place August 12th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the campus of Lane College. Alyssa, you're a busy teacher, you're a mom, your husband's a coach. I know you're busy. Uh, But this Eye Care Initiative and the Better Community Summit is a passion of yours. Uh, Why is it so important to you? Um, As Ms. Peoples alluded to, we had a tragedy on the bypass, and one of those students was mine. Um, I've known him since the sixth grade, and it was just... You know, as an educator, you're never prepared for things like that. There's no class we take to prepare us for losing somebody in a tragic way. Mm -hmm. And I know that it's not the first time. Um, But I've made up my mind that I want to be an agent of change. Mm -hmm. And I adopted this phrase, like, not one more. Um, Just because, you know, I have a son Mm -hmm. and I look at my students like they're my children and I want to protect them, but I also want to encourage them and empower them to be the best they can be and make this community something that that they love and that they you know take ownership of. Um, so I am very passionate about this work that we're doing, and I'm just happy to be on board. We're visiting with Alyssa Pierman. She's an English teacher at Northside High School, as well as Lisa Peoples. She's the Director of Development at Lane College, here to discuss the Better Community Summit. It's going on August 12th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., on the campus of Lane College. So they're informative sessions, not only informative sessions for the parents, but they're also informative sessions for the students. So uh, learning about the dangers of drugs, but of course it will be discussed uh, at a child's level. And uh, my son is crazy about firefighters and policemen (laughs) at this stage of his life entering the the fifth grade. And uh, I remember one of the things I enjoyed last year was seeing members of the Jackson mm-hmm. Police Department yes. uh, there at the event, Absolutely. Uh, talking with parents, uh, letting them know yes. just the importance of prevention mm-hmm. and, and and the signs uh, to look for. Yes. Uh, your work at Northside, Alyssa, you're involved in, the acronym is PBIS. Yes, sir. Uh, I think people <laughs> outside of uh, education may not know what that stands for. But talk about PBIS and how that actually uh, kind of goes in hand of what uh, the Eye Care Initiative is all about. Yeah, so PBIS stands for Positive Behavior Interventions and Support, um, with the biggest thing being the positive behavior. It's more positive reinforcement. And I'm a researcher, so it's just like I can talk for hours about it. It's just <laughs> my, that my heart is. But um, the other strong piece is that intervention. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes without an appropriate intervention, our students and children, you know, engage in what they call risky behavior. Mm-hmm. And this is a way to deter that, but also build them up the entire time. Mm-hmm. Um, research says that people who experience the three to one ratio, three positive heart uplifting emotions to one negative, and they have a more fulfilling life. And that's just what I'm really pushing on this year. And that I hope to bring to eye care is that, you know, we know things happen, tragedies happen, we're flawed as human beings, but when we uplift people, it's going to make a difference. Uh, two quick things before the segment's over. Uh, first, congratulations to Lane College. Uh, Miss Tennessee Volunteer yes. uh, is a senior <laughs> yes. uh, at Lane College. Senior biology major. Jada Brown. Jada Brown, uh, and was an athlete uh, on the She's campus. Volleyball captain. 
Wow. Oh, awesome. Don't say was because she's determined to still play volleyball. <laughs> also, <laughs> well, you know, that crown might get a little heavy. Yes, so her, she's out there. Yeah, her <laughs> plans might change a little bit. So, firstly, congratulations yes, on that. We're very excited. Secondly, Alyssa, you're a teacher. Uh, you've been with the district for a while. You know, in May, I know teachers are excited about the end of the school year. Hey, yeah, taking a break. But as I've talked with uh, teachers uh, over the last week during our leadership conference, I know you're excited for the students to be back in your classroom. Uh, before we go on our time out, can you speak to that? Uh, I know it was nice to have a break over those two months, but you know, are you excited about uh, the new school year and, and um, what are the feels right now? I am, I'm just smiling so big. I am like <laughs> excited. It's not even a strong enough word um, just because I miss my kids mm -hmm. and it's, I love seeing them grow. Um, I'm fortunate enough where I'm moving up with the kids I taught last year. So last year I was teaching 10th and I moved up with them. And That's I just great. get to see them come into who they are mm -hmm. as young people. And it's just, it's a feeling that you really can't explain unless you're a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm excited. Shout out to uh, Dr. Brian Chandler and the administration uh, there at Northside Absolutely. High School. Speaking of teachers, as we take this time out, let's hear from, we're going to hear from some veteran teachers and we're going to hear uh, from some rookie teachers, uh, their thoughts as they begin a new school year. Hi, my name is Reginald Mark Cray, and this is my second year teaching music at Pope Elementary School. Last year, the first day of school was like jumping in the pool and not knowing how to swim. <laughs> but it was great that I had a great team around me, great lifeguards that helped me to learn what it meant to be a public school teacher. My name is Mary Beth Deloach and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Pope School. I've been a kindergarten teacher here for about 42 years. This has been my classroom for almost 40 of those years. First year teachers are probably feeling a little nervous. I'm Mary Lou Aguirre and I'm a first year teacher at Pope Elementary. I've served as a teacher's assistant for the past two years and I am looking forward to having my own classroom this year. Every year when we start off, it's like you're, you get your new students and it's like your little family for that whole year. And it's kind of hard to let them go in the spring, um, but it's, it's very special the relationship that you have with your students. Hi, I'm Krista Robertson. I'm a first year teacher at Andrew Jackson this year. I am a Memphis native and I went to Union, graduated, always thought I would go back to Memphis, but a reason why I stayed here a part of Jackson Madison County Schools and at Andrew Jackson is because it's just so much support. So it's time for Krista to go out on her own. She had a whole year with me and what I'll say is She's an amazing human. When you let that show, that's gonna be a lot of it. She's prepared. I know that she's ready to do this. There is one curveball that I did not expect and it would be that I'm teaching second grade this year and I student taught all year last year in fifth grade. So I'm going way younger. They have a completely different uh, mindset when it comes to the younger kids, but I'm very excited. It's awesome to be around such experienced educators. They have definitely helped me out a lot. She wants us to know that we're there for each other. Just like we have the interns here that are coming from college and because we want everybody to, to love teaching like we do. A phrase I always use with my students at the end of the day is, you are dearly loved. And no, rock star teachers, you are dearly loved as well. Welcome back to the JMCSS podcast for the district. If you missed the first two segments, we do want to invite you to uh, go back online. You can go to Apple iTunes, Google Podcasts, or Spotify to hear the first segments uh, of our conversation. We've been visiting with City Councilman Johnny Dodd, Lisa Peoples, she's Director of uh, Development at Lane College, and Alyssa Pierman, an English teacher out there at Northside High School telling us about the Better Community Summit Back to School Edition. And so uh, we're excited uh, to share this information with you because these are our community partners. Uh, when you think about why the Jackson-Madison County School System 
is able to be successful, uh, when you think about educating nearly 13,000 students, uh, the work of our community partners really helps us do that. Uh, welcome back uh, to the uh, desk, uh, Councilman Dodd. There are four workshops I know we want to cover uh, before we say goodbye uh, for, I believe this is episode 36. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll go back and, and check that. Uh, four <laughs> workshops at the Better Community Summit you want to tell us about. We have a fit now and gun violence. Uh, we have a um, business have a successful school year. Uh, then we have domestic violence, peace in the home, and then we have childhood trauma. Uh, things that we deal with daily uh, in our community. Something I think it's important for parents to remember, a lot of times, and this this even happened last week at the leadership conference among educators. Uh, we had these uh, breakout sessions and workshops. It's not uncommon for you to attend a workshop and maybe sit 30 minutes and there's one, there's one valuable nugget you might take away. Uh, and if it's just one, that's very important. So we do want to encourage parents to take advantage of these workshops and these conversations. When you think about how to have a successful school year, uh, there will be a lot of information shared, but it may be just the one or two very important nuggets that you walk away with. Uh, and so, again, as you think about the workshops here uh, at the Better Community Summit, uh, that's going to come up on August 12th. Yeah. Um, you know, there are a lot of options for you to uh, choose from as far as these workshops, and it's definitely worth the time uh, to sit down and listen. Councilman Dodd, as a parent, when you look through these, I, I think uh, how to have a successful school year uh, us both having kids, uh, and uh, I remember uh, John Shea yeah. uh, came through there at Southside while I was there. Um, wouldn't it be a benefit uh, to parents to be able to sit well, in on these I conversations? I think it will because it's a lot of questions that our parents have throughout the school year. Yeah. So here's your opportunity to address your issues and then information that you would need throughout the school year, mm -hmm. get that opportunity to talk to someone from the school system. Uh, then they will have a vendor also set up. Uh, from the school system, I mean, that would be also set up. We have business throughout mm -hmm. the workshop, I mean, through the conference. Well, and we do want to recognize a West Tennessee Healthcare, Salvation Army, Community Foundation of West Tennessee, and the United Way, just one of the many sponsors of the- about Jackson Madison County Schools. <laughs> Jackson Madison County Schools. You're listening to the JMCSS <laughs> podcast. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> uh, listening to the JMCS podcast. So uh, these community partners with the Better Community Summit, uh, the Back to School. Sorry to interrupt, Lane College. And the, <laughs> the event is taking place at Lane College. The idea, uh, you hear about a workshop labeled Peace in the Home, um, and being able to learn about domestic violence, uh, childhood trauma. You know, in your work in the city, you know, how important is it for parents to be educated on, on some of these issues? Well, I think as being in the school system, did it with it daily because, you know, you don't know what the kids been through the night before they come to school. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of our houses have absentee, absentee fathers that's not in the home. And then even the fighting that they had to deal with before they come to school. So when they get to our schools, mm -hmm. you don't know what they've been through. Mm -hmm. So, you know, give our parents, uh, the women and men, opportunity to have some tools to be able to deal with the information, to help them be better parents, and to get along with each other would be great. Uh, the childhood trauma. Me, you know, me being at a workshop, I didn't know when a kid go through trauma at the age that he was victimized or hurt or his his brain stopped growing at that age. Mm -hmm. And that's why you have so kids that he might be eighteen or twenty year old or whatever, but he acts you know, it's you know, he his level is not where he should be at that age. Mm -hmm. But his growth stopped of his brain because of the trauma he went through and didn't get any resources. Mm -hmm. So we do have uh Miss Tawana Miller will be doing that workshop and she does a lot of counseling throughout our city. But it's workshops like that is something that we have to be able to bring to our community. We do want to remind our listeners and thank our community partners for the Better Community Summit. It's coming up on August 12th at Lane College. Now, the event is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and if the classes weren't enough reason for folks to show up, a lunch is being provided, but there's also a school supply giveaway. Well, school supplies giveaway, which is great, uh, book bags. But the big thing is, uh, if you get there early, <laughs> you get an opportunity to win $200 cash, or be a gift card, mm -hmm. uh, cash, a Visa card. Then we give away a TV at the end. 
throughout the workshops, we give away gift cards throughout the workshops also. And then at the end, we'll give away a probably 55 inch TV or a little bigger, depends on. Mm-hmm. And then we give away another $200, you know, $100 a piece. Uh, then also in our youth side, we'll be they get door prizes also. Mm-hmm. So we just want to encourage people to come out, you know. If not for the workshops, come out and get you a gift. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> Plenty of reasons to attend the Better Community Summit uh, at Lane College. is coming up on August 12th, and it's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We do want to thank uh, City Councilman Johnny Dodd for joining us, as well as uh, Lisa Peoples, Director of Development at Lane College, and Elisa Pierman, an English teacher there at Northside High School. And, and Councilman Dodd, we do want to give you uh, the last word as uh, we prepare here to sign off, uh, maybe some encouraging words. You want to provide um, uh, the next Johnny Dodd, who is a student somewhere in our system right now. Well, I just want to reach out to our youth and tell our kids, regardless of your past, the future has a clean slate. So no matter where you are in your life now, just continue to stay positive, continue to dream, and, you know, life is to me the sky's the limit. And I just want to take the opportunity to thank all our volunteers to help out, thank everybody that's part of, the community, of our, our care team because there would be no our care team without us, people that's whatever. And also... Uh, and <laughs> I think you're getting some help <laughs> off camera here. We don't want to get in trouble, so we will mention our sponsors one more yes. time. Yeah. Jackson Madison County Schools, uh, uh, you, you helped me out earlier. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, West Tennessee Healthcare, uh, Salvation Army, Community Foundation of West Tennessee, uh, and the United Way. Several more partners. We have several like more. Con- we don't want to leave out some, mm-hmm. but I think you know, we're at Capital City, mm-hmm. Cold Red. Mm-hmm. Um, and the great thing about it is Destiny I Care Church. has a, a Facebook page. And so uh, sponsors like Destiny Church and yeah. others, uh, you can find out that about that information on the I Care page uh, on Facebook. So, again, it's the Better Community Summit. It's the Back to School Edition. And we want to thank uh, Councilman Dodd uh, for being here, as well as Lisa Peoples with Lane College and Elisa Pierman uh, from Northside High School. You've been listening to the JMCSS podcast for the district. Again, if you want to check out this episode or past episodes, uh, you can check out Radio 731. Uh, You can check out our podcast page at jmcss.org. Again, Spotify, Google Podcast, or wherever you check out your favorite shows. We hope you've enjoyed uh, this episode. We hope you have a great Sunday morning and an excellent week. We'll see you next time. Thank you.